also uh, developed PTSD. And as a result of the rape? As a result of being raped. Uh, and uh, also uh, not uh, processing that trauma. Uh, I did not have anyone help me. I did not have a therapist. I did not have a psychiatrist. I did not have a doctor help me through it. I just all of a sudden became a star and was traveling the world going from hotel room to garage to limo to, to stage. And I never dealt with it. What kept you getting up? Hello, I am Sebastian Delorme, I don't believe the rape story of Lady Gaga. Let me sum up what I have heard from different sources. She claimed she was raped at 19 and left pregnant. She also pretended that she was diagnosed with PTSD which means post-traumatic stress disorder. She was also allegedly diagnosed with fibromyalgia which is a disorder characterized by widespread musculoskeletal pain accompanied by fatigue, sleep, memory and mood issues. PTSD is the syndrome that soldiers experience after witnessing horrific situation on the battlefield. She also pretended to feel full of pain and numb. She claimed she was sick for weeks and weeks, and weeks and weeks after. She turned 19 in March 2005. So, I investigated the years 2005 and 2006 to see if I could find some evidence of her allegations. In the summer 2005, she did a photoshoot for the Polish photographer Małgorzata Sanievska. On the pictures that are available online, we see the ultra-confident Lady Gaga posing. I don't show the pictures here, I don't want to see my videos removed. These black and white pictures of Gaga are available online. Cherry on the top, the photoshoot took place at her parents' house in New York City. This means that in 2005, Gaga was supported by both of her parents, Cynthia and Joe Germanata. I guess that when Gaga started to publicly talk about a rape, the parents never heard of the story before. It is just my guess. Then, in October 2005, she sung in the middle of the street in front of a crowd at the annual Columbus Day Parade. She neither looked depressed nor pregnant nor tired. Then, in 2006, she played in numerous New York clubs. She looked extremely healthy and confident. She stood strong at her keyboard in front of the crowds. Lady Gaga looked happy on every single footage. She pretended that some producers wanted to burn her music. In 2005, Producers digitally recorded artists using a software called Pro Tools. The sentence, I am going to burn you music. Sound awkward. I mean music are not printed on scores like centuries ago. Also, she didn't want to name the alleged rapist. This calls into question the veracity of her story. Interestingly, she ends an interview by saying, I don't even remember. I think truth is elsewhere. Lady Gaga is smart. She is a marketing genius. She could have done this to get free media coverage. She uses Oprah Winfrey as a tool to reach the masses. Because of the COVID-19, no concert could be held for May months. It was time to boost the sales of her music. The world has been negatively impacted by the Me Too movement. A Californian man who stayed next to my house was convinced that rape was now a wide-scale phenomenon in the USA since the Me Too movement. Now, he thinks that we are surrounded by men who rape women. We can witness the disastrous consequences of feminism. The feminists destroyed the male-female relationships. They pretend that every single man is a rapist. Now, men don't approach women at the workplace anymore because they don't want to be accused of sexual assault. Men videotape their flirt to avoid being prosecuted. Blue-pilled men suspect their all-time best friends to be rapists. So, now the feminists destroyed the dating game. Men and women have difficulties dating. Tomorrow, the feminists will be responsible for the destruction of humankind because feminism spreads all over the world and people will stop to date. Heterosexual men are constantly targeted by allegations of all sorts. Meanwhile, when I switch off my computer, smartphone and my TV, rapes and sexual assault are nowhere to be seen in my community. Even if she is on the other side, aka the feminist side, I acknowledge that Lady Gaga is talented. In 2005, she was just a young attention-seeking woman as found in spades in New York. She worked hard to get where she is now. Conversely, many women rely on a man to reach a better lifestyle. Lady Gaga succeeded by herself. Initially, she wasn't a dancer. She was a mediocre singer. She was a plump lady. Now, she is talented and she is fit. She worked hard to get where she is. Rather than fueling the gender war and divide all of us, I would prefer Gaga to be active on TikTok. YouTube, Facebook and share her positive skills with the world at her grand piano or keyboard. Thank you very much for listening to me. 
See you next time.